Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming and welcome back for another Lancaster M video. Today we're going to take a look at week 3's uh, weekly update. So anyways, right now we're basically halfway done with this major update. Yeah, time flies, no kidding. So anyways, I'm going to um sh I'm going to like explain what this update has has brought into the into the game for for the week 3 of this major update although i did i did actually like um notice that there are some events that we are not expecting from the future language installment for uh for this update <clears throat> first off i did not explain that there are like all of these uh you know all these events that will happen in this cycle so let me run through each of them really quick so here we are so first one we got the e ebus free bazaar bazaar i mean uh, right here, you choose your your own pack, and you buy them with a certain amount of of uh, dollars. You uh, that's listed on here. Just the usual thing. So if you need more control points, this is a good deal uh, for just ten bucks. And also, if you need some burgers, then yeah, you can you can also do that too. And uh, and also if you if if you don't actually need those uh if you don't actually need those control points but you do need something else like skin vouchers or those runestones shards, uh, they are also an option for you if you if you need those instead. We also got a body build pack. Uh, this one mostly used for yep uh soldier training and other stuff. And then the secret treasure of the Ark ma uh, Magister. For 65, I wouldn't recommend you buy that because this one is expensive. Ooh, expensive. All right, and let's talk about the events that I did not mention in my videos. So let me let let, let, let me uh let, let me explain what what they are. So, anyways, first off, uh, there's an event going around with your floating realm where um, in case you guys didn't remember, uh, you know, back in the day with like a you know the fourth anniversary. Uh, where like you know all, everything in your floating realm has the boost of like you know the shortened time on certain things like with the production buildings and also with the mines and the planting. Well, I'm happy to say that that event has returned in this week. So, so yeah, if you need if you need those uh <clears throat> if you need those extra like uh, resources in your floating realm, uh, now is the p perfect opportunity to get to it. Uh, th actually, this is Angie's egg co collection. This is the other event. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so, yep, we got. Let's see. Let's create. You need to select two kinds of the mysterious eggs. Okay. Okay. Let's see how to do this. Uh, I'm gonna add that. And then let's see. Uh, I'll choose white kitten. Let's create one. I got a twin egg, which is light. Okay. Okay, and that's one of them. So yeah, you're gonna need to do some do some like a creation in the riddles to unlock these rewards so let's see what what we need so a very expensive looking egg if it's not sissy white it can only be the j toad sensei right okay so i think i know how to do that one so let's see so i'll say princess lion badge for this one and then uh kaguya's heirloom let's see what happens okay Jato Sensei and yep that was that was this here. So yeah, as you can see here, <clears throat> if you fo follow the description of what they are, you will eventually get those rewards. So just to be sure you don't make the same egg over and over because you know that will not that will not work, but I don't think it will let you even do it. Okay. Right, next up, we got the uh, we got the strategic master destiny banner. Uh, I believe this one is a is the expected one, while this one is uh, not not expected. So let, let me see which one which one it was. Well, actually, one of them is is the one that's not expected. So we will see um, which one did I say uh, 
that are that will be coming this update and which one uh is not so uh has not but it's out it's actually on this week anyways let me open up the let me open up my list so based on what i'm looking at it looks like the the banner that that is displaying right here supposedly supposed to be for next week and apparently this was pushed forward uh to this week so like if you need these characters whatsoever uh these are a good opportunity to get them oh yeah and speaking of which uh there's a new secret there's a returning secret realm event <coughs> called the magic tower conquest so if you guys like the auto chess mode uh you'll be happy that this mode has returned so yeah get go crazy in this mode if if you have time that is uh, we also got the Secret Realm Revival. Uh, this one increases the daily chance for for many uh, for many Secret Realm events, like the, the the permanent ones, not the limited ones. So yeah, so if you need those extra rewards, now is the perfect opportunity to get them. We also got the Floating Realm phenomenon, which I already explained earlier. Yeah, everything everything with the the planting. Or and also resource production speed, uh, they are they are, they are increase or reduce by thirty percent. So like the the resource production speed is increased by thirty percent, while the planting and or mining time will be reduced by thirty percent. So if you have the bonus from previously, where it reduces your uh, production, where it reduces your uh, like planting bonuses, I think just planting. Let me think. Let, let me see if it's just planting. <clears throat> the building is called the F the Symphonic Hall, I think. Let me take a look. Okay, after unlocking and building a fertilized ground. Yeah, this is just a fertilized ground thing. So, yeah, so planting, if you have this previously, uh, this will stack with your... Uh, this, will, this will stack with the event. So, yeah, as you can see here, I got this already. Because it only takes around like, uh, like just six hours to plant all of these. Let me go and do this in advance so I can get the get more crops later. All right, next up we got some packs that we need to look into. And also speaking of packs, they also uh some new skins that hit the store. Uh or I should say returning ones. So, we got we got a couple of skins that have made a comeback for this this batch. Uh let's see. Okay, so these these are the four that that has red on it. They're they're actually the returning ones. They are available once again. So let me run through what they are. So first off, uh, we got Liana with the forest ninth uh, skin. Oh, and speaking of ninth, you know the the character ninth is actually a uh, character in the in the CM version that will be that's already been released. Yeah, kind of coincidence there with the name choices here. <laughs> And uh, we also got Tiaris with the Violet Moon. We also have Yulia with the Wing Song no Nocturne or Nocturne or whichever how you pronounce it. And finally, we got Rosalia's uh, uh, Moonlight Rabbit Dive. Yeah, Easter related skins. So if if you actually if you need those skins uh, for uh, to, for your for the fashion. Then yeah, they are they're actually well worth the investment. But however, technically they don't do much <clears throat> other than just making your character look good. Oh yeah, and now let's talk about the gift packs that are in the store. Uh, let's see, we also we got the bountiful guide guided box. This one uh gets you some trinity crystals. One hundred, I mean not one hundred, one thousand five hundred. Uh, a rune stone and five hundred thousand gold for just twenty one bucks. Is it worth it? It depends how you use it. That is okay. We got surprise egg. This is Easter related, so this one costs three bucks. Can only be bought one time. This one grants you five Trinity vouchers and uh, one million gold. It seems. We also got Easter's gift. This is twenty bucks. 
This one can be only be bought one time within a two week. So this one gives you 10, 10 Trinity vouchers right away. We also fate uh, 15 uh, challenge points, 50, and also 1 million gold for just 20 bucks. I would say this is probably a better deal since uh, you do get 10 Trinity vouchers right off the bat as well as some Wheels of Fate if you need more characters to shard. As well as some challenge points if you need extra challenge points in your uh, inventory for future uh, <clears throat> future equipments, that like exclusives that is. We also got the Pathfinder Travel Pack. Uh, this one gives you 100 sweep clearances. And some bros big burgers, uh, like th three burgers to be exact. This can be bought six times for just five bucks. Honestly, this isn't so bad. If you need those, uh, like secret rum runs a lot of times, this is a good. This is a good deal. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here. Hmm. I think that's roughly it. I don't think there's anything else I need to mention here, but... However, I am going to let you all know the, about the reminder of the next week. Since, um, you know, this week we got the Archon, Varash, and Knight of Mystery uh, Destiny banner early. I'm not sure if what, what banner is going to replace that slot. Unless uh, they're not going to do that and just give us a one Destiny banner that was that was actually predicted. Either way, we'll keep an eye out if there's anything going on with that week. <coughs> ah, so sorry about that. Until then... Until then, uh, keep an eye out for the next uh, major update because major update the next major update is going to be huge because it's a collab with a uh, trail series, uh, Trails in the Dark or Kuno no Kiski. So yeah, you got, you probably do not want to skip out on that one because uh, there's a healer that that can allow your allies to stay alive for one like by protecting them with one fatal hit. So like, even if they took the fatal hit, they will not die at least one time. And also at least five or six stars on that character specifically. Uh, they will get two revives instead. Yeah, making them real, making it more powerful than they normally would. Anyways, I'm gonna sign out. See you all later.